All right, he's doing this again a little later, and this time it's not regurgitated, so just so you guys know, I will let him feed me. Yeah, I know, buddy. Here. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right, so as you can imagine, they don't just make toys for toucans. Like you can, okay, we're going to start that again. <laughs> You can't just go to the, your local PetSmart or Walmart or bird store or wherever and go get a toy for a toucan because they don't play with things the way that parrots play with things. Like parrots chew and they like wood toys and things like that, but uh, parrots just forage so much differently than toucans and they play so much differently. So many times what I've been doing until now is just getting dog or cat toys or whatever that looks interesting like that's something that looks like a small animal or whatever like I have a few lizard like fake lizards realistic looking lizards and mice and ferret looking things and stuff like that or little birds and they like that but I've taken what I've known kind of about what they enjoy for instance bottle caps wine corks tassels things like that that are just kind of unusual items that they tend to like and I've tried to make toys out of them so I have a whole bunch in my pocket and I haven't taken them out yet because she's gonna start freaking out as soon as I do and jumping all over me and I'm not gonna be able to show them to you guys that's your toe that you got there <laughs> why are you biting your own toe so the first thing I have is like this little it's like a wooden pair that's for parrots but I've taken some like uh, What's it called? Like twine, I guess? Just like some string. And tied these tassels and like drilled a hole through the center and just threaded it through to make something that, yeah, there you go. See, they like to shake. They like texture, different textures and different things that'll make sounds in their beak or feel different on their beak when they, okay, you're already dropping it. I'm gonna get it. Oh, okay. Like this little piece of wood makes a different sound when she clacks it in her beak than something else would. Before I've made toys out of like um, prescription pill bottles and filled it with beans and stuff like that so it makes a shaking sound. But like for this, she really likes tassels for some reason so I drilled a hole in this Gatorade lid and again threaded a tassel through it. And they just like to play like that. And they like to hold things under their feet and kind of tear at it toss it around or bash it on the side of the perch things like that then it's just so much different than other birds you can see she's she's not really coordinated quite yet <laughs> as you can see and she's still a baby as you guys know but here's another one that's like well I have like a little bird attached to it oh there you go well, at least you went in your little litter box give me a second I gotta take the little bird off Good lord. Okay, yeah, she likes this one the best, I think. So, like, I have this little bird here that's for... I guess it's like it's like a little decorative thing that you could get at, like, Hobby Lobby or whatever, and you put it on, uh... You put it on, um... Plants and stuff like that, or plastic, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a person that does many arts and crafts like that. But you could, like, clip it on a plant like that, so it's got this little clip on the bottom, and uh, so I'll clip it on like this screw on this perch for instance, but that's kind of unrelated because this is what I did make, was this little, it's just a ring of twine with tassels all around. And what I found that she's like to do, or she likes to do the past few days, is if I take it and wrap it around this little screw here on this perch that I have on the back of my couch, And just leave it there. She's interested in that bird now. <laughs> I guess that's kind of like a impromptu homemade toucan toy, a little bird, a little foam bird. But that's not a, what the video is about right now. We're gonna look at these. Look, look at this, Maeve. Usually she likes this, and she likes to try to take it off the perch. There you go. It gives her something to do, something to work on. They like to take things apart. Or like any, anything like a, like Ripley really liked to uh, take the lids off of chapstick. 
she could hold the chapstick tube in her beak and use the dexterity on the tip of her beak to both hold it and take the cap off somehow. And then she could also take the lids off of like milk jugs and stuff like that. And that was really entertaining. So they like to have something where there's a goal oriented around it. In this case, the goal is to try to pull the tassels off of the purse so that she can take them somewhere else. And there's different colors and there's the shiny metal part and they slide around and it's just really I don't know this is a not to pat myself on the back but this is a really good toucan toy I wish I would have had something like it for Ripley and Tupac likes them too um, he's not often in a playful mood but we'll we'll take some over to him in a little bit and see see what he thinks about it but I just want you guys to be able to watch her do this for now She's trying to get them off. Usually she's she's figured out how to get it off of that screw pretty quickly. So I've had to like do it tighter and wind it around more. Where are you going? Okay, well while she's busy with that, we'll take one over to Tupac. In his normal chair, like an old man. Look, this is a wine cork. The hole drilled through it and again, twine. What? What are you doing? You're about to, yeah, you're throwing up a piece of watermelon. Delicious. <laughs> Regurgitating, not really throwing up. Are you trying to give that to me? Well, that's very sweet of you. Okay, I'll take it. Can I have it? No? Do you want to give it to Maeve? She wants it. He's got some food over there for you. You want to go get it? I think he's trying to give it to me. Can I have it? You want me to put my mouth down around it? Here. Yeah, that's what he wants. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. It's just, uh, don't tell him about this. <laughs> Throw it in the trash there. <laughs> Did she, she just threw up another one while I went to go do that? Are you trying to give that to me too? This whole video has changed because now he's trying to gift me regurgitated fruit, which in the toucan world is a very kind gesture. So, I'm very... Thank you so much. Can I have it? Yeah, if I put my hand there. He wants to put it in my mouth. Okay, I don't really want your regurgitation in my mouth, but I'm going to pretend like I'm eating it. Mmm, yummy. Okay. <laughs> um, let me, uh... I'll wipe my hands off real quick, because there's, uh... regurgitated watermelon on them now. But, let me try to give him this toy again. There you go. Look. Okay, he doesn't want it, but Maeve still does. I have some other toys I can try to give him in a little bit. So, Tupac giving me that watermelon is something they do throughout their whole flock as a sign of affection. Um, he'll often try to give me pieces of regurgitated food, and it's kind of gross. But to a toucan, it's a very kind gesture, and it's a sign of affection. So, if Maeve would start giving him pieces of fruit as a gift, he would take to her a lot more quickly. But she's a baby. She hasn't learned a lot of her um, toucan language quite yet. So here's another little tassel. Just two tassels together. And you can see that like a toucan's attention span is so short. You have to kind of have like 
toys all over the place, otherwise they get bored. There you go. Like, I'll hide different toys and stuff around in different places so that she just comes across them naturally while she's out and about. You can see she's putting that under her feet and tearing at it, and that's kind of like Kind of like a cat, you know how cat toys are there to exercise their hunting instincts and kind of um, just exercise their minds in that way? It's the same concept with toucans. So they like stuff that they can pull on or kind of clack around in their beak and essentially they're just pretending to kill it even though it's not a real thing. But um, it's very good for their little minds. And let's let's try one of the little caps for two blocks. I made several of these, like duplicates of the same kind of toy. There you go. No? You're just playing with it like yesterday. Here. It's a toy, buddy. Look. No? Okay. Maybe you're sleepy. How about this little bird? Want that? Are you not in the playing mood? Alright, well that's okay. You don't have to be. He's not in the playful mood right now. He just wants to regurgitate fruit and give it to me, and that's okay. What? You don't want to be pet either? Are you sleepy? Well, you're being good and going to the bathroom in your little litter box, at least, so that's good. Maybe it's not being good, though, in that regard. <laughs> Here. You want the little red bird, Maeve? Look. You want that? No. There you go. And so this one has like a little wire on the bottom where I can kind of uh, wrap it around a perch or something. So it's like a bird's perching and she can go up and grab it and see how she's shaking it a lot and hitting it on the side of the, rubbing it and hitting it on the side of where she's perching. It looks cute, but within context, it's kind of gruesome. <laughs> Here. Are you done? You want some watermelon? Here. There you go. I think that's about it. Uh, they have like short spans of about 20 minutes that they go crazy playing with everything in sight and then they kind of just chill for a little bit like this, so. They're very ADD animals. Oh, she's back to playing with that now. So maybe I spoke too soon. They never, they never focus on one thing for too long, though. They're always on to the next thing very quickly. <sighs> Man, it's about time for you guys to go to bed, I think. Well... Thanks so much, you guys, for watching. Make sure to check us out on Instagram. Check out the merch. Link in the descriptions for all that good stuff. Uh, like, subscribe, and tell tell us what you want to see. Like, what what kind of stuff do you want Maeve to interact with or eat or whatever? Same with Tupac. Tupac's just he's harder to film for, you know. Like, I'm trying to get him in every video I possibly can, but he's just comfortable just hanging out right here. So. You know, he just likes to sit next to me and every once in a while he'll jump down and play with toys or go eat, but his health limits his abilities quite a bit, unfortunately. 
and hopefully one day it won't always be that way. But for now, that's how he is. He's just an old man that likes to sit in his chair, so... And that's okay. <laughs> You're not in a petting mood right now. I may have on my back right now. I wish I could flip the camera around and show you. Look, come here. Alright. Well, thanks again so much, guys, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, he's doing this again a little later, and this time it's not regurgitated, so just so you guys know, I will let him feed me. Yeah, I know, buddy. Here. Thank you. <laughs> okay, those vitamin stuff that I put on there doesn't taste that great, but thanks, buddy. I really appreciate that. <laughs> Anyways, thanks again, guys. <laughs>